San Bernardino Mountains covered in snow this morning after blizzard like conditions swept through the area overnight. Officials are reminding people to pack your change if you uh, plan to travel up to the mountain today. KTLA's Megan Tellis live in Crestline where they were ready to go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in some ways uh, with the chains at least. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't me. I'm dusting off my shoulder, not because I deserve that, but I should be doing it to Chris Jarowski. The photojournalist, woo, excuse me, so dry up here, it's taking my voice with it. Um, uh, that packed the chains, look at him. He was so prepared that starting at 4,000 feet elevation, which was Rim of the World viewpoint, and this is your warning today, that once you hit that 4,000 feet, they say chains are required unless you're in a four wheel or all wheel vehicle. Even in that case, you have to show them that you have chains because just in case you need them, they want to know that you have them. So Caltrans was there. They weren't able to physically help people uh, put the chains on. So they say, do know that we can walk you through it, but you should know how to do it if you're coming up to the mountains today. This is Crestline. It looks beautiful. Wow, the sun just poked out. This is gorgeous up here today. Not so gorgeous if you were in the thick of the blizzard last night. Take a look at this video. This was a bit more northeast of where I'm at. This is the Lake Arrowhead area last night. I'm told by locals that because of what you're looking at on your screen now, people sort of snowed in when you go further north of Crestline. So those who work down here, say where I'm in front of Top Town Cafe. A lot of the essential workers who work inside of there, they live further north in Lake Arrowhead. So they weren't able to come to work today, meaning I can't use the restroom inside of this cafe because they are closed. Uh, again, the school districts closed down. We have Bear Valley Unified. We also had Rim of the World Unified School District at a class today. No school, no word on if that's the same case for tomorrow. This next video shows you what the drive looked like. If people were on the road last night, and I'm told the storm happened between 8 and 10 p.m. It got really thick around 10 p.m. That's when the wind was blowing. It was thick fog. You can see the windshield wipers there. Uh, luckily, officials were able to get everyone off of Highway 18 and no reports of any injuries at this hour. So that is a bit of good news. I want to show you what it looked like later in the evening into the morning. So this next video will show you 630 this morning. This was what it looked like along Highway 18. If you got off at around the depot area, if you're familiar with that convenience store there, you can see that it's blanketed with snow before the plows came through in the early hours of the morning. Now, I know last year was a much different story when it came to conditions at this exact time. I spoke with a couple that was driving right through Crestline on the way to get some food because it's such a beautiful morning, and they had this to say about last night. Last year, we wouldn't even be here we would still be stuck in the house when eight feet of snow. Wow. So at least this time, this is pretty mild. We're able to drive, go have breakfast and, and enjoy the day off. Enjoy is what he was saying. A lot like Andrew, who's not out here anymore, but he's our friendly firefighter who's from Fontana, works here. He's all cozied up inside now until they get the next call. And he said, luckily, there was not an uptick in the number of calls last night because of the blizzard. He said it was pretty mild. Got to be safe. That was his big thing. Safety first. So we appreciate that about the Crestline folks up here enjoying the morning. Not so much of a great sight last night. That's the very la latest. A winter storm advisory, by the way, Frank and Jess remains in effect until noon today. So we got some time to go. Firefighters did tell me that after that, as Krisky's been saying, it's going to let up just a bit up here. So that's a good thing.